if u is a unit vector, find u dot v and u dot w. You can see that these vectors really are forming a triangle here, and these marks on each side of the triangle tell us that the lengths of each side are the same. In other words, we can see that this is, in fact, an equilateral triangle. And so we can use that to help us find the dot products that we are after. Since it's an equilateral triangle, we know that the magnitude of u, that side of the triangle, is equal to the magnitude of the vector v, the length of that side of the triangle, which is equal to the magnitude of the vector w, the bottom side of the triangle, the length of the bottom side of the triangle. And u is a unit vector, so all of these have the same length of 1. We also know that since this is an equilateral triangle, the angle formed by each of these vectors is 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and start with finding u dot v. Now the definition of the dot product is that the dot product of two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the two vectors multiplied together times the cosine of the angle between them. Well the cosine of the angle between u and v is the cosine of 60 degrees. 60 degrees is the angle that is formed when we start the vectors u and v at the same point as you can see here. And so u and v are unit vectors, so their length is 1. So we have 1 times 1 times the cosine of 60, which of course is 1 half. So that is 1 half. How about u dot w? Well, let's see. u dot w is going to be the magnitude of u times the magnitude of w times the cosine of the angle between them. Now, that's the angle that's formed between the two vectors if we start them at the same point. Well, what's that angle going to be? If I were to slide w up so it starts at the same point as u, it would come out like so. And what would that angle be? Well, we'd have this 60 degree angle here, and then we would have another 60 degree angle right here. And of course, there's different ways we could justify that. One way is that you have alternate interior angles, 60 degrees here and 60 degrees here. We know this one is 60 because it's an equilateral triangle, and the sum of those three must be 180 since we have a straight line going across here. So again, if we start the vector w at the same point that we start the vector u, the angle formed between those two vectors is actually 120 degrees, 60 plus 60. So the dot product is going to be the magnitude of u times the magnitude of w times the cosine of 120 degrees. So that's 1 times 1 times a negative 1 half. And so negative 1 half is, in fact, the dot product of u and w.